Okay, let's start the test. This is a recording for the occupational English test mm -hmm. held in Ajinora Institution. Okay. The candidate is Miss Nemia yes. and the candidate number is 23000024644. The interviewer is Najma Minsaria. Interlocutor number is 641. Three, eight, two. Okay. And your profession is nursing. Yes. Good afternoon. My name is Najma Minsarya. Can you say your name for the record, please? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Nimya. And what is your candidate number? My candidate number is two, three, zero, 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 two, four, six, four, four. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Can I see your ID? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so please confirm your details on the test paper, then read and sign the candidate declaration in this booklet. Okay. Thank you. So I'm going to be working with you for this test. Mm -hmm. There will be warm up questions followed by a role play. Okay. Remember, this is a test of English, not of your professional knowledge. Mm -hmm. And please speak naturally. Yeah, sure. Do you have any questions about this? No, ma'am. The warm up questions are not assessed, mm -hmm. but it is a chance for us to get used to each other's voice. Okay. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. Yes, ma'am. What are the good qualities of a nurse? There are a number of qualities a nurse should have. So, which includes she should be humble, honest, and she should have good communication skill and problem solving skill, and to be empathetic towards their patient, and she should be act as an advocate. So these are the qualities of a nurse. Okay, that sounds good. Why did you choose nursing? I chose nursing because I am inspired by my mother who is a nurse and it is my childhood dream and also a dream of my parents. When I was a child, my mother taught me that all nurses are the angels on earth. The day she said I made a decision that I want to become an angel, so I opted for nursing. That's it. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So let's move to the role play now. Yes. I'll take a part of the patients mm -hmm. or perhaps a relative and you will take a professional role. Okay. The role play will last five minutes. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Okay. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No ma'am. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. Okay. You will start the role play after that time. Okay. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. All right. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about. Mm -hmm. And you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. All right. Here's the pencil. Okay, thank you. And the role play card. Okay, thank you. Your three minutes starts now. Okay. How can I address you during the role play, ma'am? You can address me as John. Thank you. Your three minutes are up. Okay. You can look at the card during the test, mm -hmm. but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Sure. The role play will now last for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry if I stop you when okay. the time is up. No. Can you start the role play, please? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Hi, good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. My name is Nimya. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward. You are looking so worried. May I know the reason behind that, Mr. John? Yes. Mm -mm. I have been diagnosed with myocardial infarction. Mm -mm. And I'm quite anxious and nervous about my future health. Oh, I can see that how much worried you are about your health. Yes. But don't worry about that. I can assure you that you are at the right place and I'm here to help you. Don't be worried much about your present situation. Mm -hmm. because I can assure you that your health is satisfactory and you are in the recovering stage. Okay. Okay, but before proceeding further, yes. in order to get the clear picture about your health condition might be, uh, much better, 
Okay, all right, Mr. John. With your permission, may I ask you questions? Say, is that okay? Yes. Okay. So, in your case, Noor, I can see that you have the habit of smoking. Am I right? That's correct. Okay. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I have been smoking 10 cigarettes per day. Okay, all right. So, could you please tell me your dietary pattern? Yes. I rely on junk food such as pizza, burger, french fries and cookies mm -hmm. as I am a businessman and I have hectic schedule to follow. Okay Mr. John, thank you for being transparent. In your words, I could understand that you have been smoking 10 cigarettes a day and you depend on junk foods. Am I right? Yes. Is there anything else? Would you like to add in that? Yes, I do have high blood pressure. Okay, thank you. But don't worry about that. So I'm here to help you and you know that you have been diagnosed with myocardial infractions. Yes. It's nothing but it is a condition of heart. Okay. And so there are some measures are there. If you are willing to follow the advice, I can reassure you that definitely you will get a full recovery. Okay. So okay. firstly, I'm going to tell about how to give up the smoking, otherwise reduce the number of cigarettes. So okay. would you like to hear that? Yes. Okay. So there are some supportive groups out there, so such as smoking cessational program so if you are interested i can link to them so they will give more support and they will give some of the advice how to reduce the number of cigarettes gradually you can give up the smoking okay. so how does that sound it sounds good okay perfect mr john well mr john do you have any other concern yes i do i mm -hmm. need to know if all the medications are necessary okay all right so i'm here to help you so as you know that you have been diagnosed with myocardial infection and you have high blood pressure isn't it yes so it is very important to continue all medications prescribed by the doctor okay. so do you think you can do that yes definitely I'll try all right mr. Jones there are some other measures are there to improve your current health situation so would you like to hear that sure okay secondly I'm going to tell the importance of taking vegetables and fruits in your diet and try to avoid salt and fat content foods do you think you can do that I'll give it a try Okay, I can see that this must be a very difficult for you to make some changes yes. in the diet. But in your present situation, it is very important. If you do that, I really appreciate for that. Okay. okay, so finally, I'm going to tell regarding the exercise. So in your situation, so it is better to continue your exercise at your homes. And you can take uh, around uh, 5 to 10 minutes for walking. Instead of using elevator, you can use stair. So how does that sound? It sounds good. Will oh. I be able to work? soon yes sure mr john as i mentioned earlier so you are in the recovering stage you will get a speedy recovery okay all right and lastly i'm going to tell you it is very important to take adequate rest in between your work so uh, i know that you are going to perform the exercise right yes okay so if you are performing uh, it is very important to take rest in between so okay, okay. do you think you can adopt this measure definitely okay I'll try. Okay, perfect, Mr. Jones. So, is there anything else would you like to ask me? No. Okay, all right. So, so far today we have discussed about your condition that is myocardial infection and some of the lifestyle you need to follow in order to get a speedy recovery. Yes. So, is there anything else or would you like to ask me? No. Okay. So, I uh, hope I covered all your doubts and worries, right? Yes. Okay, so wishing a speedy recovery. Thank you and take care, Mr. John. Thank you. Here we come to the end of the test. Mm -hmm. Now you can return the role play card. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And don't forget to take your ID with you. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you.